I'd like to start with um, uh, interesting forwards representing Portland Agency. Um, this photo shows that this man was a truck driver for 20 years, 28 years. So guess which side of his face was next to me? The answer should be left, right? Because left side is exposed to sunlight. So. And in England, it might be different because steering wheel is right side. So, okay. so. But uh, as you know, the aging is influenced by um, intrinsic and extrinsic aging. So, but um, unfortunately, intrinsic aging cannot be easily controlled by uh, uh, medicine at all because it's uh, more like a genetic factors and chronology, chronological aging. So, uh, next target should be active uh, photo aging. So, because we can control uh, photo aging, because we know the mechanism how uh, sunlight can damage it. Skin function. Sunlight uh, generates uh, reactive oxygen species, and then uh, activates AT1 and, and regulates NFT proteins and collagen utilization, causing skin aging. And what happens if he's not exposed to sunlight? His skin condition will be better now, right? Like this, right? So, and how can you develop uh, photo aging drugs from uh, using medicinal herbs? So I think uh, there might be two different ways. Uh, one is uh, cosmetics, or, and the other is using cosmetics. Um, cosmetics is uh, topical treatment, and using cosmetics is oral administration, like uh, edible products. It might be uh, food or food ingredients, or food material, drink, whatever. And so, but they can both inhibit skin aging by regulation of NT1 and NT1, and quality regulation and post aging. But my question is, which one is better? You know, way that control skin aging, the cosmetic or the cosmetic? Which one is better? So I give you some hints. Um, this kind of metaphor. Uh, when you're growing tree, just as in when you're growing tree, what is really important factor for regulating this? Uh, um, just in when you're growing a tree, what is really important factor for making trees healthy? Of course, uh, water, water is essential, like the cosmetics. Is it similar to Excuse me. Um, a small part? Can everyone keep their mobiles off while the speaker is presenting? Thank you. It's like a small part of an iceberg. And what about the soil part? Soil contains many uh, sources, like uh, micronutrients, minerals, vitamins, nutrients. So, Soil health may be uh, important for regulating body functions. It's like a huge part of the iceberg. So I'd like to uh, impress the beauty from inside body is uh, important for regulating skin aging. And this is a, a monolithic statue uh, located in East Island in Chile. I never been there, but it's um, a very interesting one. And to develop anti-photo aging drugs, so we established the cellular screen resistance using Hapaki skin cell. And when the cell is exposed to you, ultraviolet, and they can generate reactive oxygen species and the form the ROS. Activates map ion pathway and regulates energy one three nine and quality utilization and causing skin aging. So we choose this part molecular target as for a marker for screening. So after screening about one hundred 
separate one strong candidate was obtained. So uh, strong one, one strong candidate was applied to individual animal models. So, and we need this uh, phenomenon using hairless mice with ultraviolet. And hairless was used and the UVB was applied three times a week for 12 weeks. 12 weeks is about three months. Um, this experiment takes a lot of time, so it's a three months. So the wrinkle does not form when the doing experiment less than 12 weeks. So at least 12 weeks is needed for this, doing this experiment. And uh, UVB radiation was increased 60 to 90 millijoules, and on the basis of energy density. And for result. In replica analysis, as, as you can see in the figures, the deep and uh, deep wrinkles were increased as compared to contour, and uh, deep wrinkles were reduced by our candies HD10. And we also evaluated straight in corneum and epidermal thickness because epidermal thickness is biomarker for skin aging, so we immediately use this marker and we obtain skin tissue from mice and we do histological staining. So as you see in the figure, uh, straight corneum and epidermis thickness was increased, but this denominator was reduced by our candidate HD10. And we tested the quality of relation was restored or not. So this our HD10 was restored the quality of relation using basic price scale. And to quantitatively analyze the wrinkles, we measured mean depth and mean length of wrinkles, and they were reduced by HD10. So we can conclude this. My next question was, what is included in, what is active compound contained in HD10? So we isolated active compound through active body fraction and we uh, can get uh, active compound in a large amount because animal tests need a lot of chemicals. And the active compound showed that inhibitory effect on wrinkles and epidermal thickness and quality degradation and mass cell. So we conclude that this compound was uh, active compound throughout the data. Next, we check the mechanism of active compound um, from protein extraction. Skin tissue was obtained from mice and the skin was grounded with buffer and we checked what kind of protein expressed in mice skin. So we get a data and NF9 and relevant proteins were increased in UV3 groups and this uh, increased the proteins were degraded by our compound. So this active compound shows that uh, inhibitory activity on uh, skin aging. We do experiment for structural determination of active compounds. So what is what active compound has chemical structure? Uh, from protein animal, we obtain the information uh, what kind of proteins is, is what included in from carbon now we obtain information how many carbons and what kind of carbons are involved in our chemical structure. And using 2 d NMR, we obtain the partial structure and the partial structures were removed by Asian spectrum or primary regional chemical structure. And we uh, checked the water flow rate worldwide 
structure using positive and negative elements for network uh, right. So the actual compound, the final compound was right. And using uh, active compound, we may uh, use this co active compound as a marker for polyculture according to different regions and areas and the signal barriers, variations, and fortunately, HGCAN was a, a transfer to pharmaceutical company with offer fee of two sixty thousand dollars and money guarantee. And uh, we are going to have a meeting uh, with the GSK for a mutual cooperation uh, on this uh, HG10 uh, for promising mutual partners. So for summary. HGCAN has a, a target, has a two a functions, a two functions. So one is anti-rhythmic activity and the other is uh, skin moisture activity, skin better functions. And for toxicity, no toxicity was reported. So we can use this material as a food or food ingredient and drinks or whatever you can, whatever you want. Is, um, so 
about to start this September this year. And this is the end of my study. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> are there any specific questions? I Thank you so much for a wonderful uh, presentation. Um, it's fantastic to be honest. One of the best I've seen thus far since I've been here. I've just got a quick question. Um, this HB10, uh, you produce two graphs, one showing um, uh, moisturizing um, activities. Um, my question was this. Um, if, if that um, part of the skin was uh, moisturizing, would it not be retaining water to make it tight, the skin? It, uh, what, my, my, what I'm, the point that I'm trying to make is, would the, this skin it be taut because of being moist? Is that because of water retention in the skin? Um, <coughs> the skin, when the skin is damaged, yes. um, the very important thing is collapse. So a huge amount of water is being operated, so we may check the power. How many amounts of water is being operated? No, I understand that. What, the point that I'm trying to make, uh, make is this water will be within the cell, within the cells themselves, in the cytoplasm that makes it taut. But what I'm saying, will it not affect in, within the skin? My, what I'm trying to say is, will it not affect other cells in the body? Mm. Whereby it can possibly cause excess weight or other possible problems, renal problems possibly. I don't know how long. How, maybe, maybe, uh, I don't know how long you've uh, uh, had maybe, your clinical trials. Just uh, the upper part of the skin might be affected, but uh, the design is experimental to uh, just on the skin. So right. I'm not sure. Okay. Okay. That's fine. That, yeah. That's all I wanted to know. about. if it's retaining water, perhaps other cells are affected as well. That, that, that's what I'm trying to ask. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you very much for your presentation. Uh, my question is, um, after isolating the compound, were you able to suggest the name of the compound? I didn't see you, the, the active compound that you have isolated that has this activity. Have you suggested the name of the compound? I'm not seeing the name, thank you. Usually if I isolate compound, you suggest the name of the compound. That's very important. I don't know whether you have done that. Name. Again, the question okay. again. Name, name. My. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, because the H C N was transferred to Pfizer company, so I'm not authorized to make it public. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. Any other? Really. Do you work on any autoimmune uh, skin disorders? We are doing uh, the uh, anti-inflammatory responses and uh, doing uh, immune responses, but data is not shown because... Uh, no, not here, but uh, you are doing, are doing yes. what kind of uh, autoimmune disease is that? Um, people who feel very warm. Sorry? Inflammatory. People who feel very warm. Okay, okay. Yeah, we are trying to focus this day. I feel very warm is... Um, the same compound you're trying. Okay, it's the same compound. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Chan. <coughs> More questions? Uh, um, I'd just like to say it was a very, very interesting presentation. Thank you very much. It is a pity that we didn't find out what the verb was, though. <coughs> um, I certainly would love to have taken it back to Australia and... Uh, and worked on it <laughs> with you, of course. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, 
Yes, our next speaker is Dr. Ra, Dr. Prem Ra.